guys, I'm back here with another video. Um, this time it's on a 77 GMC C10. Uh, pretty cool old truck actually. You know, got it running a little while ago and uh, finally just swapped up the wheel today because it had uh, mismatched wheels. So, you know, Greg found a wheel. So, actually, I did and he picked it up. But regardless, um, yeah, so. Let's take a tour. So first I'm going to uh, pop the hood and you guys can take a look. This thing's much taller than most of the vehicles I look at. I don't remember where it is on this. Wait, is this? Yeah. There we go. Alright, let's take a look. So under the hood we have a 305 that does run actually fairly well um it uh could use some stuff like obviously you can see there is a stud holding that's not like proper and it's got some wire on it instead of a bolt in that there's not even a gasket on that uh, manifold but regardless you know just minor things that this thing's really gonna need to be honest besides the obvious bodywork and stuff but this will make a great truck great daily driver for somebody or if they wanted to restore it, it's not in that bad of shape overall. Um, but yeah, and see the engine, you know, you can tell there is uh, a few things like the fuel pump looks relatively new in it. Um, and I know there was a couple of things done to this, but I can't remember exactly all what. But regardless, you know, it's all here. And like, look how much space is under the hood of one of these. Like, I totally forgot how much room there is under these because... I don't get to play with uh, square bodies that often, you know, and it still has the uh, the insulation, although it's falling apart a little bit, but it's still here, right? Which is very cool. It's dirty. Could use a wash, but I'm not going to take out the pressure washer and do that. And as you can see, it's got a brand new battery in it, with brand new connections on it. So, you know, everything uh, works great for that. Uh, there is a hole down that is right here. Just a little bungee cord. And oh yeah, that's right. Because the battery tray rusted out. So it's actually on a piece of wood. <laughs> that probably won't pass inspection that way. But you know, which is pretty funny. And oh, and that, that looks like an intake. Like, because uh, the uh, there'd be uh, a tube. It would go right to there. It's pretty cool. Is there one on the other side? Probably not. Because this is only a 305 car truck whatever yeah there is not that's where the uh block heater goes block heater cord goes right there so makes sense that's pretty cool um and yeah now we can shut the hood and take a walk around it because honestly this truck is actually in pretty good shape like as you can see the front end there's a lot of uh good usable parts on this thing uh, front fenders are, you know, brand new primer. They just need to be painted, basically. Well, probably the body worked a little bit painted, but not too bad. They're brand new. It just, you know, uh, they've been exposed for, I don't even know how long. There is a little bit of rust on this truck. As you can see. Not bad underneath, though. I'm not crawling on the ground because it's a little wet here, but... At the moment, I don't feel like getting all wet. I'm gonna as well, and if we take a look back here, there's a bunch of spare parts. You know, we got a beauty ring there. There is uh, like a bunch of random Chevy hubcaps, which they're not for this, but they're back here. You know, you've got chrome valve covers. Uh, there's a mirror there, which I think, is this one missing a mirror? No, it's not. So, okay, it's just a spare mirror. Um, oh, that's white and these are chrome. That's why. Okay, that makes sense. But yeah, all that stuff and... Uh, Which, that doesn't stay on very well, apparently. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, if I can get, hang on. I don't want to break it more than it already is broken. Because it's not exactly perfect here. And it's not perfect on here. Let me just adjust that. Alright, that'll work. I 
I'm scared of bending this. Doesn't actually stay closed. <laughs> okay. Well, that's uh, fun. Um. Anyways, so yeah, and as you can see, you know, box is a little rusty on the side too. Like it probably just need a new box. Just to be honest, what square body doesn't? Uh, the rocker is gone on this side by the looks of it. Use the outer rocker. Probably inner rocker's done too. And also, there is one thing missing now. I I do have one. I just need to go install it. is a striker because it's kind of missing right but looking inside it's not bad it's not all cut up or anything like yeah it needs a new dash pad but which one doesn't although it does need a windshield because we kind of messed up uh installing the windshield as you can tell you know very very uh nice condition though overall it's a nice little basic truck for somebody uh it does need brakes I can see because it doesn't have the striker there, you know, but there is a spare cab over there That uh, and there's also a spare hood too if somebody doesn't want this hood because it is bent It's a tan hood that's sitting right over there um, And behind the shed or the fence there and uh, Yeah, there are some spare parts lying around um, And the wheel that I swapped out was actually this one here because it had uh this was only on three wheels when we pulled it out so just like okay we were trying to find a wheel and the wheel that i found to put on it is over here which is a gorgeous buick rally wheel right that honestly like if the tires weren't so shot i'd pro i might just be tempted to put these on there or what might happen with these because we have a full set of these but as you can see, you know, it, it needs a tire. It's done. That tire's like burnout tire. But what do you think? Put the wheels on the Nova. When it comes time to sell this thing, which that would make this thing look so damn good with those on it. But we'll see. Because, yeah, uh, I don't think Jim has been by to pull all the crap out of the car yet. Uh, nope. Still has a little stuff in the back. So, yeah. But yeah, this thing. Um... Honestly, don't know a ton on this truck because it's just it's just a truck that's been sitting around that Greg bought who knows how many years ago and never did anything with it. So now I get to sell it <laughs> along with the rest of the stuff up here. And like there's a bourbon over there which I'll do a video on soon. Uh, it does run and drive and it's honestly really cool. It's a three quarter ton uh, 4 by 4 um, And yeah, I was doing a quick little video on this. Because, well, this is ready to sell. Uh, we're not, I don't think we're going to do anything else to it. Uh, I don't feel like really working on this thing much more. So, yeah. But anyways, uh, let me start it up and you guys can hear it. It's only a 305, but it does run really well. Yeah, and obviously I just had it running because I drove it over to the house and got the uh, the wheel off because I wanted to use the impacts on that. Smoking a little though. <laughs> but like you, you can hear it's burning oil, but it does start up right away, honestly. Like, uh, it took a little bit to get it going uh, when I first got it, but just, you know, it has been run for a little bit, so I was just, uh, you know, I had to pump it a little more. But yeah! Cool old truck! 
know, same year as my uncle's 77 C20. And there's a cow. You know, you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> this cow was uh, over there, actually, like by the Lincolns. And uh, just stared at me. I mean, this is not Greg's cow. It's not supposed to be here. I'll let him know afterwards. <laughs> that was a surprise to see a cow standing right there. But also, even when we rub it out, it's a pretty decent accident. <coughs> For somebody though that just wants honestly uh, uh, a decent daily driver, they're just getting into uh, the hobby, this would be a perfect little truck for them or for a full restoration for that matter because it's not in that bad of shape. Um, yeah, I'll let you guys go uh, just in case this cow decides to uh, do anything crazy here because I don't really want to be on the other end of a cow. So, uh, <laughs> uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And, uh, yeah, uh, there's going to be more videos like this because uh, I think the next one I'm going to do is that bourbon there. Uh, probably we'll film that tomorrow. I don't know, maybe I'll do it right after this one and just do one video after another type idea. Or save it in the bank for another day as well because I don't know if that thing's actually ready for sale yet or not. Um, we'll see. But,. Yeah, so anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, you know, leave uh, feedback down below. Uh, again, what do you guys want to see? And again, I will tell you guys that if you guys ask me for a Cold Star video, it's not going to happen. Because honestly, I don't do that. And I know what that's about. It's about pedal pumping, and I'm not doing that. Like, I just showed you that little bit there. Just to show that it revs quite nicely. And that's it. I am not going to do any videos of that. Like, and honestly, if somebody asks me for a pedal pumping video, I swear to God, I'm going to find clown shoes and do a pedal pumping video for you just to make fun of you. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Um, well, uh, share this with your friends if, uh, you know, you think they might enjoy it. And uh, any activity on the channel actually does help. Any comments, likes, subscriptions, everything does help. Pretty soon we're going to be at 200 subscribers. Uh, last I checked, we were at 159 as of the last video. So we'll see. I'll probably upload this video. It might not be tonight. It might be tomorrow night. Just due to I want to let my first video run its course. You know that I re uh, recorded the other day of what to look for in a used car, which if you haven't seen that video, uh, that's the video just before this one. So if you look on my channel, you'll see that. It's right there at the top. Or pretty close to the top anyway. So uh, yeah. Anyways, I'll let you go. And uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day, uh, wherever you are. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later. And God, you know, just... I do want to say one thing really quick, actually, before I end. Look at the side profile of Stitch right now. Ah, oh, she looks so good. And sorry, I know the camera's a little tilted. The, the, the ground isn't level out here at all. But, you know, with those... Because uh, you can see that I've got the taller tire in the rear. With the, uh, the shorter tire up front, to be honest, I have 75s uh, for the winter that I do want to throw up front too. Which that won't happen until next winter, I think, because... Those tires on the front are still pretty good, um, and I don't want to just waste a tire that way. There are a couple of tires that I have for burnouts that I just need to board out the center, and when I get to Capri riding, that's what's going to happen to them. I'm just going to do a massive burnout along the road here. On the road on the back there. So, yeah, or somewhere around anyways. Probably on that road, though, because it's, you know, secluded. But, uh, yeah, anyways, um, hope you enjoyed. And, yeah, just saw that sexy side of my car, and I just like, you know what, you guys have to see that. Right like that. And with all the weight in the back, it's actually level. <laughs> with that tall tire. 
But yeah. Uh, anyways, yeah. I will let you go. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll chat to you later. Hope you're staying safe during COVID-19, and as well as good luck with whatever you're working on. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Bye! Pikachu!